Global tech titans are increasingly duking it out in the payment space to drive customer acquisition. In the latest such move, Huawei has unveiled its very own online payment system. And previously, the tech giant enabled users to pay offline through a contactless option called Huawei Pay. With both an online and offline option now, Huawei is competing with the likes of other Chinese technology heavyweights, which have already made inroads into the broader fintech space, such as JD, Meituan, Xiaomi, and Douyin. It's no surprise that competition in China's digital payments industry is heating up. The former CEO of SWIFT, Gottfried Leibrand, said that there are more electronic payments per year in China than the rest of the world combined. Huawei's online payment option will not immediately challenge the likes of Alipay and WeChat Pay. These two options dominate some 90% of China's mobile payments industry. However, the move does allow Huawei to provide more value and convenience to its existing user base, which in the process will increase consumer stickiness in Huawei's vast technology ecosystem. Indeed, all tech giants aim to better lock in their users to their own brand ecosystems by moving into payments and fintech. It's important to keep an eye on China's digital payments industry if you want to spot key industry trends. In addition to the leading third-party payments platforms I was just mentioning, China, of course, is at the forefront of digital currency development. Recently, it was announced that China's central bank digital currency, the ECNY, will enter its third round of testing by expanding into more key cities and regions. The latest round sees the digital yuan introduced into the mega metropolises of Chongqing and Guangzhou, among others. ECNY trials are expanding in an orderly manner gradually making the digital currency more accessible in daily life. Just downstairs, I can already pay for my dry cleaning using China's digital currency. And I would wager it's going to be quite a seamless transition into ECNY given the pervasiveness of digital payments here in China. Of course, we can also expect the ECNY to move beyond just retail and domestic as it matures. So, as of now, I see three major forces in China's digital payment space. The up-and-coming ECNY, currently undergoing extensive trials in China's large cities. More pure-play third-party payment platforms such as Alipay and WeChat Pay that are used broadly across the country. And niche third-party payment options such as the likes of Huawei, Douyin, Meituan, and Xiaomi, which currently focuses on enhancing consumer experience, stickiness, and loyalty to their respective brands products, and ecosystems. As we enter into the IoT age, in I, the era of virtual worlds such as the metaverse, will tech giants that have a hardware edge such as Huawei and Xiaomi be able to finally challenge the mobile payments dominance of Alipay and WeChat Pay? Time will tell, but may the most creative payment models win. Overall, I'm expecting new and innovative business models to arise from the competition we see in China's digital payments industry which, as it further speeds ahead, will unlock more consumption potential and demand in the world's second largest consumer market.